Uh, the big game in League Two sees the leaders Chesterfield go to Fleetwood in second. More on Fleetwood in a moment. But first to Chesterfield, who after a flying start have wobbled by losing the last two league games. Johnny Phillips reports. This weekend, we visited the club that's led the way in League Two. Last weekend aside, it's been a great start for Chesterfield. Overall, you must be you just made up with the way it's gone. Overall means we're not doing well at the minute, John. <laughs> Overall, I like the words, very well chosen. Overall means we're having a bad time, but we're top. Well, I wanted to come here and say how great it was, and then I saw that result at the weekend, and I thought maybe... maybe... Which, which one? All right, so it was a pretty lame attempt to skirt around the elephant in the room. Just what exactly happened against Morecambe last Saturday? 3-0 up at half-time, they went to pieces in the second half. We got beaten by a Morecambe team that, make no bones about it, did a good side. But they've also full of hunger and desire. You know, and when you, you don't lie down, the management duo, Jim Bentley, Kenny McKenna, they don't lie down. They'll never lie down for anyone. And that, that, that evolves into the team. And unfortunately for us, we thought we'd won the game. We all got taught a harsh lesson, you know, and we take it on the chin and we move on. But it shouldn't overshadow what you have done this season, should it? It obviously does with your question, <laughs> John. How did you lose the lead? The players have put that behind them. The recovery facilities here include an endless pool. In the whole league, only Manchester United and Chelsea can boast one of those. This is actually in the community trust facilities and we open this to the public. Um, so people can come in here if they've had uh, maybe an operation or they've got a chronic illness, they can come in here and, and do therapy sessions. We are developing a relationship with our local swimming club who are coming in to do swim analysis and swim sessions. That's one of the reasons why I signed and go over Sheffield are the people because we're set up to be a championship club. We might be in League Two at the minute, but this club's going places. Um, the, the setup we've got is fantastic, and hopefully we can we can go on and get promoted this season. Enjoying it all is Jeff Hall, who invites himself into the manager's office every day bearing gifts. He's brought us the biscuits in again. He doesn't realise what he gets for bringing us a box of out of date biscuits in, does he? Best support in the land. They're not out to date, surely they are. Yeah, 2012 they've got on the box, not 2013. Yeah, right. Best report, in. He's been to Buckingham Palace to meet the Queen, so we have to put up with Everett now, don't we? That's right, he's just won a Grassroots Hero Award for his work as a matchday attendant, but prefers to talk tactics with the boss. He's in picking the team for Fleetwood Saturday, aren't you? <laughs> Tell them how we're going to play. Tell Graham and the staff how we're going to play. Somebody the... said, almost, 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> four, four, four. Graham, if you know how we're going to play now, you're a better man than me. <laughs> you, want to go, you want to play with talk for on to do it? Somebody, tell one of the members have told me when I went collecting yesterday. What did he tell you? To, uh, he wants to go back to ordinary system. What was that? Four, four, two. We've become a scalp, um, but that's only due to the way we play. Um, but we've got to, we've got to deal with that pressure. It's a different kind of pressure, but one that we've got to embrace and hopefully get the right results to, to keep us at the top of the league. When I come in last year, it was coming in with a job spec, you know, and I've really enjoyed being here. I love being manager of this club. It's a great club, as you lads have seen today. So as I say, September, October, a lot of plaudits get given out about promotions, and there's no such thing. There's no one promoted in October, there's no one relegated. There's a lot, a lot of football to be played for in the league. And in League Two, there's a lot of good sides, a lot of good managers. We've got a long way to go as a club to get where we want to be, but we feel we're on the right path. And we feel if we keep our focus right and Everett Nelson around us, that we'll be fine.